Welcome to how-to videos from Bugspray.com. Today I'm going to show you the temp vent. Now this is an automatic opening and closing vent which opens and closes based on the temperature. So all of these vents here, I've got gray, brown, black, and white. So they come in four colors. These three, the gray, brown, and white one, have been indoors uh, where the vent is open. It's about 70 degrees in here and you can see that they're fully open. This one has been in the cold and it's, uh, it's, it's opened about a quarter of an inch so far since it's been in the warm air. But uh, we had it out in the cold for about an hour and it's completely closed and uh, didn't have to do anything to make that happen. It just uh, happens on its own. If you have any uh, crawl space vents, you're probably familiar with the uh, annual or biannual ritual of opening and closing them. If you haven't been doing that, then you're uh, allowing too much cold air in your basement. All right, I'm sorry, in your crawl space uh, in the uh, winter time and, and not allowing the air to circulate during the summertime, which can cause moisture problems. So having vents that open and close when they should uh, can be very useful, especially here in the south where we get days where it's 70 in the in the winter time and, and you know, 30 degrees in the winter time. So uh, the vents will open and close, allow moisture out, uh, airflow in uh, at the appropriate times, not just a specific time of the year, but at the appropriate temperature. So the vents come with some hardware for installing them. Essentially, all you have to do is have a space about the size of a concrete block to put these in. So either you can remove a concrete block to increase ventilation and install one of these, or you can remove an old vent uh, that was just uh, usually mortared in place inside of a space where a concrete block is. So it's an 8 by 16 space. As you can see, these have a lip that allows it to cover uh, the edges of the block. So even if it's not a perfect opening, uh, you can still get a good seal. The uh, accessory pack here comes with nuts, screws, and springs. I'm going to show you real quickly. The springs are going to slip in to one of the three spaces on this side or the three spaces on this side depending on how you're putting it in. But what this allows you to do is slip this into place and there'll be tension on the spring. That'll hold the vent in place. It could be permanently, but typically you want to do that temporarily until you uh, install these. You can leave the springs and you don't have to remove them when I say temporarily. But what you really want to do is use these uh, pinch bolts in order to ensure that you have a good uh, fit. So the way these work, the screw or the nut is going to go on here and then this gets screwed in from this side and as you tighten it that screw is going to pinch into the brick or the block on the outside so you can see here this keeps coming out and as, as you need it will screw out quite a ways in order to allow it to pinch completely in place. Uh, and there's four of those so once you have one on the top and bottom on each side that will hold the vent very securely in place. Uh, a lot of people will want to take a, a bead of silicone on the inside of this uh, and then push it into place that way you have a good seal all the way around the vent and you don't have to worry about any insects, critters or anything like that getting through. You have the heavier gauge uh, screening on the outside to keep larger things from getting in and then a smaller screen to keep the insects from getting through and that's also on this side as well there's also another uh, protective grid. So as you can see as time has gone by it's slowly opening. I'd say it's open about uh, three quarters of an inch to almost an inch now. And if we had enough time, you'd be able to watch it completely open. But I think you get the idea. So whether you uh, are just not tired of uh, 
opening and closing your vents every year or your old vents are damaged and you need to replace them or you currently have temp vents and you don't want to spend a bunch of money to have somebody else do it for you we have all four different styles uh, colors and you can do it yourself thank you for watching this how-to video from bugspray.com